Juan, Zoila, Ariana, Olivia, Amy, Johnny, Latinos, right? We're going to keep going here. We'll be here for a while. <laughs> Joe, little Joe, big Joe, little John. You know, big John. We love you guys. You've made me feel like I'm part of your family this week. And we're going to be here for you. Our commitment in our department, when we have a graduation, we have a tradition that we salute our graduates on graduation night. Because the only time that a, I guess you could say a commission officer would salute an officer is at a funeral. And for all of you in here, men and women that have taken on the task of policing in some of the most difficult times where trust of government has historical lows and you don't quit, we salute you at the front end because your commitment speaks volumes as to your hearts. And we're going to continue that tradition because you matter. Police officers matter, firefighters matter, EMS, we matter. Our mayor was up here a few minutes ago. You know what I love about this mayor is that when he talks about public safety being a priority for one of the greatest, city of, greatest, greatest cities in the country, I mean, we're in the top 10 of everything, including number one in keeping it weird, right? I think that's how I got hired. Hey, this guy, that guy's weird. He's weird enough, we'll hire him. Kind of a strange duck. But this mayor and the members of this council have a commitment to public safety that is not a campaign slogan. It is a philosophy and it's followed through with action. It's followed through by this community with support and it's followed through with their presence here today. So thank you, mayor and council, city manager. Thank you for being here. Congressman McCall, I saw he's here somewhere. All the elected officials and chiefs, thank you for being here, but most importantly, frontline officers. These are not easy, are they? Are these easy? But we're here because it's our only our duty. It is our honor to stand in a place together with Jaime Padron. Last thing I want to tell my people is that we're not going to what if this. What if this? You know, what if we hadn't called? What if we ignored that guy that came in? What if I would have been there sooner as a backup officer? That's not what this is about. You see, I'm fully convinced that in this family of servants, right, in this family that, that raised a son to serve, I believe that at some point, God calls you, right, when your life's work is done. That's why I always try to cut in line a little bit in front of an old lady. I don't want to call me too soon, all right? At the market, last orange, I'll take that, ma'am. You won't be needing that, all right? It's, it's, it's hard to do an Austin because everybody recognizes me in this crazy town, so. But he, he paid his price. He paid the toll. He's in a perfect state. So I'm done mourning. I'm starting to celebrate, and it started with you. You too. You gave us hope. You were that silver lining in a very cloudy day. And I want you to think about the timing. This was Good Friday, which is about the most solemn, important days, right? Friday was the day he died on the cross for us. And on Sunday, we were rejoicing because we knew that Jaime was living in the presence of the Lord and with everlasting life. I want to thank the Padron family. I want to thank you, Amy. You almost shot me at the door at 2 a.m. the other night, but that's okay. Don't ever go to Amy's house in the middle of the night. And to the people in the Austin Police Department that loved him the most, and you know who you are, we're here with you. We're standing with you. We feel your pain, and we're not going to be here for just till Friday. We'll be here 
as long as there's breath in our lungs. Half of you have my cell phone number. You know where to find me. The other half are the crazy people I gave it to when I first got here, not knowing they were crazy, and I hope they'll lose it. But call on us. Thank you for giving us your son. Thank you for raising somebody that really showed how it's supposed to be done. Thank you for giving him such a lifetime of joy and happiness and love. It is great to know that my officer, that our friend, lived a life filled with love and family. Because remember, blood's thicker than water. And this blood and this Padron family is as thick as it comes. You ain't going to cut through it with a hot knife. You ain't cutting through that. And we stand with you. We honor you. We honor you, girls. We're going to be here for a long time, and we're always a phone call away. Lastly, I really want to thank, again, Walmart. really want to thank <clears throat> Lincoln and Archie. I really want to thank the Austin Police Spouses Association that immediately stepped up. Ladies and gentlemen, don't, don't, no gender bias. Get those male spouses in. Thank you for stepping up immediately. Pastor Koch, thank you so much for having us. Cook Walden, God bless you. Thank you for everything you do for us. The APA Board of Directors, thank you for opening up the hall to everybody. The Greater Austin Crime Commission that immediately gave us a $10,000 check for Amy and the girls to get them through, or, or the Hunter Club, excuse me, gave me that check, and then I got two more $5,000 checks for the families from the Greater Austin Crime Commission and the Hunter Club. Thank you and to everybody that supports those organizations. But above all else, I want to thank the men and women of the Austin Police Department for showing some tremendous courage, some tremendous class. I always tell you I'm proud of you guys. But I'm more proud than ever today of being your chief. We will get through it. This is just a beginning. And I want to say thank you for letting me lead you. You matter. We will always be there for you, and we'll get through it together.